What's going on folks, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and I just wanted to preface this video and say, well, you can see basically from when this kicks off that I started this video maybe a month ago, maybe a little bit more than that, and I, uh, I just wanted to say that while we're currently in this turmoil of waiting to see what Wizards of the Coast has to say, I do still really like the products from Beetle and Grimm's. They make a quality product. This is the second platinum box I've gotten a chance to open, and I wanted to showcase all of the cool stuff that's contained within one. Uh, but, you know, Beetle and Grimm also supports other systems and other game worlds outside of just Dungeons and Dragons. They do things like Pathfinder. Uh, I think they even did some of the Taldori stuff from Critical Role, and I know they're looking to expand and break out into other games and things like that. But... The products are really awesome. The team from Beetle and Grimm's are fantastic. Uh, I like the folks that are over there. There's also a bunch of WizKids minis in here. I really like the folks at WizKids and the products that they make. So I just wanted to showcase kind of what's going on inside one of these boxes uh, and just kind of give you guys a little intro before we dive into it because it's going to obviously be jumping back to a month ago. So anyway, uh, let's jump in. What's going on folks, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and I have this big box here from Beetle and Grimm that just arrived on my doorstep today. I didn't know it was coming, I don't know what's in it. I'm assuming it's Dragonlance related, as Dragonlance did officially come out today. Uh, so, it's actually substantially heavy. We're gonna go ahead and cut this guy. Actually, this tape is real, real thick here. See? Oh god. Holy, oh yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, it is Dragonlance. Holy cow. This is the Platinum. Oh, wait, Spelljammer? Oh, hold on. Okay. So, Icons of the Realms Platinum Edition Spelljammer Adventures in Space. This, I think this is the Solar Dragon from WizKids? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no. It is a variety of WizKids miniatures, which I'll have to come in close for, but some of these we did the unboxing for when we did our random live stream, but there are some on here that I didn't see in that. So that is a variety of WizKids miniatures. We have a, a map vault here for Spelljammer. Looks like we've got... A variety. I don't want to bend these, but they're quite a few. Looks like they're all the star maps for Spelljammer. Oh, yep, we've got a variety of different sized battle maps and things for Spelljammer Adventures in Space. So that's that. This is rules for Dead Hands Dice. This is a dice cup here with some wooden dice. I don't know if that's like a, I'm assuming like pirate spaceship thing. That's just garbage. Then over here. We have the platinum edition box for Spelljammer Adventures in Space, which inside here will have this folder here. Actually, this right here on the front is going to be sort of your little intro bit about what's inside the box. So we have the actual adventure itself, the three different books. Uh, as uh, We have the DM screen, ship maps, we already talked about those. We have the Dead Hands dice set. There is a Wild Space Orrery somewhere in here. Here's the DM screen. This is also exclusive Beetle and Grimm art on this DM screen. A Gift Military Award and a Ring of Shooting Stars. We also have a Completion Coin. Celebrate the completion of Wild Space Adventure by proudly displaying this Completion Coin. 60 Encounter Cards, 16 Ship Cards. 20 item cards, artwork pulled from the book itself, as well as bonus encounters, which is good because we know that this is kind of lacking in a lot of areas, so that's good to see. Not this box, but the adventure itself. Looks like four additional bonus encounters, Jailbreak, Illithid, Embassy, Undead Cargo, and Make Your Own Luck, which actually uses the dice from this cup. 
Also have pre-generated characters, a quick reference guide. And then inside the battle mat tube, there is oversized gridded battle maps for locations. Uh, with Star Moth, Living Ship, Hammerhead Ship, Temple of Light, Edge Tavern, or the Rock of Brawl, uh, Vocaz Base Arena, In-World Realm Space Map, Rock of Brawl Map, and then there are the 20 different WizKids miniatures. Oh yeah, here's, this looks to be, I think, either the Ori or the Completion Coin. We have our GIF Military Award. Here is our Ring of Shooting Stars, which actually fits me. Uh, and then there's something inside. This must be the completion coin inside this bag. And then there's more stuff here. Again, I'll do it. I'll come in close and we'll look at some of this stuff in more. Yeah, here's this. And on the back, it has 2022, the completion coin. Factum Perfectio Premium. So this is... So for those of you who've never... Or we're always curious about what entails a Beetle and Grimm Platinum box. This is the kind of stuff you're looking to get. So I'll come in close in a uh, in follow-up here after and we'll look at all the stuff a little more in depth. But if you're wondering if it's worth the money or if you know, it's worth taking the time, maybe everybody pitching in to get all that stuff, this is the kind of things you're looking at. So a little pricey, yes, but split up over the course of a campaign and possibly divide it up between the DM and the players because let's be honest, Nine times out of ten, the DM is going to be the one who's usually going to buy this. But if you can split this four, five, six ways, and then again, meter that out over the course of this campaign, what is this going to take you? 15, 20 sessions? You know, maybe you just add a little bit more. Maybe you don't get as many pizzas. It'll all work out in the long run. So the product, I mean, the quality, I mean, this is a solid hunk of metal. Like this is, the quality is definitely here. Uh, I really think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, and this is the second premium set that I've seen, and uh, they definitely don't disappoint. So let's continue going through the things that came from this Beetle and Grimm uh, Spelljammer box that they were nice enough to send over to me. So I'm not going to go too much through these, but you do. I wanted to just showcase the quality of some of these maps here. So I'll go ahead. And here is the rock, jeez, the rock of brawl. And you can see again we have high quality. These are um, like a card stock. Well, uh, maybe not quite a card stock, but they ha are um, they're high weight paper, I should say at the very least. Um, they have a nice sheen to them. I wouldn't write on them. I don't believe that they are wet erase, but they might be. We also have. Uh, star chart here for realm space and then again we have a variety of the other maps that are contained here are all the things you'll need to actually play through spelljammer adventures in space so again i won't go through all of them but you can see we've got ship uh various ship maps and layouts as well so the main thing is this bad boy here so, oh, one thing I will say is uh, the bottom of my map tube, well, the bottom or the top, uh, it just kept popping off. I don't know if there's a way to fix that. Um, but yeah, that was just something. So I was like carrying these maps around and then boom, the maps all fell out the bottom. So we'll go ahead. And again, you kind of saw me open this up, but we'll talk a little bit more in depth and show off some of the stuff that's contained inside. So let's just bear with me here. There's a lot to go through. So here we have our sort of info sheet, if you will. So this will give you all the information about what's in the box. And again, we kind of touched on that. But the stuff I want to show off specifically is I want to show off the dice and sort of the liar's cup kind of, uh, or whatever they actually end up calling here, this cup game here. Um, well, I want to show off the ring, uh, shooting stars, a couple of the... Yeah, the Dead Hands Dice Set is what this is called. Seven wooden dice, oversized D6s with skull image, uh, where the one should be. And then there's the rules are actually here in the cup as well. So I want to show those off because these are actually very nice. Uh, and then again, the cool things like the Wild Space Orrery, the Gift Military Award, the Ring of Shooting Stars. Um, 
And then that's probably, again, the majority of what I'll actually end up showing off from inside here, because that's kind of cool trinkets. But we do have Wild Space Tales from the warehouse. This is the unique uh, that you'll get in here from Beetle and Grimm. So, uh, let's see. We, there are bonus encounters, right? Which is three bonus encounters have been designed, or sorry, these bonus encounters, there are four, to provide you with additional opportunities while your players investigate the Rock of Brawl or the space uh, port of your choice. And that's what this is, Wild Space Tales, which is a nice little extra thing. So we have four options, Jailbreak, the only thing harder than getting into Don John Prison uh, on the Rock of Brawl is getting out. Illithid Embassy. Rumors persist of something nefarious going on under the Illithid Embassy Tavern. Nobody would be that obvious, would they? Undead Cargo. An undead spirit has been disturbed while unloading a hammerhead ship on the docks. The adventuring party is summoned to clear out the ship, and they discover a political powder keg in the process. Make your own luck. The characters need to find something. Insert the game of Dead, Man of dead Hands Dice for a fun way to make them earn it. We have our DM screen, which as I stated, it's a little bit different. This is a little taller and not as wide. And I do believe the art is original to this. As you can see, it's got the Beetle and Grimm logo on the front. And it does look to have the majority of what you'd expect. We've got Astral Encounters, Astral Sea and Wild Space Encounters, Ship Encounters, Who's Who on the Rock of Brawl. Uh, ship types and basically all of their this is actually this is not included in the existing dm screen from watsi uh and it basically has the different types of ships their ac hp damage threshold all that kind of stuff what weapons they have all of that which is actually really nice to have here uh random ship names uh standard ship weapon table here we have spell jammer weapons pistol uh musket so on and then ship to ship starting distance, crashing, and then spell jamming speed. Very much key and tied into what you would actually need to run a spell jammer game. So, first of all, we have the ring of spell storing. So, if we zoom that in, you can see that it does actually look pretty much if this is one that we do have art for in the DMG. So, we have the ring of spell storing. All right. We have the GIF Military Award. Again, kind of like a medal you would wear on your military outfit. Showing the sort of cross guns of the GIF. We have the Wild Space Orrery, which is very cool. And this actually does move and turn here. Sorry, my hands are a mess. I was finishing up the finishing touches on my bathroom here. And then we also have, this is also something that they do that I really like. It comes in this little um, Beetle and Grimm like dice bag. And it's a completion coin. All right, so and we flip it over. Spelljammer 2022. And the thought process is whether you want to use like a shadow box or what have you, these little coins, you collect them each time and you like display them each time you finish one of the campaigns that you got the box set for, which I thought is a really cool little concept. So, you know, you know, you did, uh, I don't know, Adventures in uh, Spelljammer, Adventures in Space, you did Dragonlance or Wild Beyond the Witchlight or what have you. You have these series of completion coins to kind of show off as a physical representation of you completing uh, the game. And then lastly, we have our Dead Hands Dice Cup. It's a nice wooden cup here. Obviously, you can see with the skull on the outside. And you have these nice oversized here. I mean, here's a, a slightly larger than normal D20 to give you a concept of how big these dice are. And they're really nice. They're all pretty much identical. Uh, and they do have... This one little piece of this instruction here and the what it says i'll read the instruction is rules for dead hands dice each player chooses any number of d6s and shakes them in a cup everyone rolls and reveals their dice one at a time uh, sorry reveals their dice at the same time rather the player with the highest total wins but anyone who rolls a one automatically loses so all right if we were to do this uh i could take so I could, in theory, just take one die, put the die in the cup, shake it around, 
and then I got a six. So in theory, I could stop here with one die. We're rolling that six on that one die and say, okay, I'm done. And then my, you know, we'd all pick however many dice up front. And then I actually really kind of like this as like a liar's dice situation. Sorry, hair came out there. So we could do a couple. Maybe we'll do, so this is, it says any number of D6s. So they give you six in this cup. So let's go ahead and do all six. These. Now, we didn't roll a singular one there. So we're at what? Five, 10, 16. So basically, I mean, we chose that many dice. If anybody rolled more than that and got a higher total, they'd win. But if you roll a one, which again is why it's represented with the skull on the side of the dice, you automatically lose. That's a fun little gambling game. And I also say I'm always a huge fan of games within a game. Now, I should also say that on top of all that, it did come with this box, Ugh. which is a bunch of Spelljammer WizKids miniatures. So I we uh, I did an unboxing where I uh, a live stream where we did uh, a random brick unboxing that WizKids had sent me, but this is a curated set of miniatures. So you obviously know what you're gonna get, and they picked out one specific to the adventure. So I look in this box and I see some that I recognize from the live stream that we did. I will also say that in the live stream, I actually got quite a few um, just like standard traditional D&D miniatures. But we did get, I see uh, a couple of gift miniatures here. Uh, I only received the one, but we actually have, uh, let's see, this is Warwick Blastemoth and Commodore Crux. Uh, these are two different gift uh, soldiers here, and I really like the uh, the blunderbuss here, or the musket that they have. So those are very cool. Um, again, I see and we've got things just like, you know, uh, a Thrycreen, right, just so you can have that. That's also, again, if you have a player, there's not probably something you have too many of. We have Captain Fell, who is tiefling could be used tiefling rogue maybe if you just need a generic mini um again we have a handful of this is Hastain. i'm gonna assume this is an astral elf perhaps but we got some that i did not receive in my brick which was brog we're gonna have to zoom out and lift up for to get brog here in focus he is uh, looks like a troll, maybe a giant of some kind. Four arms, he's got a spear, although this one is particularly bent, and a big boulder to throw. Very cool. We got this guy, who is just awesome. This is a Braxat, which is basically like chitinous. I don't know if this is an individual, like a character, but look at this. Like a rhino dinosaur. This thing is amazing. This is like this many... I mean, this isn't a, this is a, again, a spell jammer, you know, Beetle and Grim thing, not a comment on the WizKids miniatures, but damn, look at the quality on the different, on the paint job. And I mean, it's just, this is fantastic. This is a top quality mini from WizKids for sure. I do have what I'm probably very, I'm the most excited about is a young solar dragon. So we'll zoom ourselves way out and you can see we don't have the wings are separate, but they are those quintessential solar dragon wings. So they are obviously, as you can see here, they're all keyweighed. So what I will do is I will come back here and we'll go ahead and install them and then put them back in the case and see how easy or hard or, or simple these are to install. So there's a keyway. We can just go ahead and I gotta tell you, uh, having done and messed around with WizKids Dragon miniatures in the past, this is probably some of the easiest to install I've ever done, and they feel the most secure. So I don't know if something changed 
on the team at WizKids on who designs the dragon wings for installation. Um, but this is fantastic. So, I mean, here, yeah, that really has like a solid, firm click, which is not normally what we have. And then here we have our young solar dragon. Will it even fit in the light box? Okay, it will. So let's go ahead and swing back so you can take a look at that. And again, the nice benefit of buying the Beetle and Grimm box is you know what miniatures you're going to get. They obviously picked miniatures that are tied and specific to the adventure. My only complaint about this is this like painted on saddle just looks kind of like a smudge of paint less than an actual saddle. But either way, it's a fantastic miniature. I love it. So there you go, folks. That is my review unboxing of the Beetle and Grimm Spelljammer Adventures in Space box set. Uh, again, watch my other videos if you're curious about Spelljammer, but um, I can't argue with the quality of what you're getting from the folks at Beetle and Grimm. And as I've said in the past, uh, you know, it might seem like a lot of money up front if you're looking to do something like this. But the folks at Beetle and Grimm obviously take a lot of time and put together what they do. And they're also awesome people. I've met with a majority of the different teams from Beetle and Grimm, including Matt Lillard himself. They're all super passionate about, uh, you know, making products for everybody to enjoy the game. It's just whether or not the game ends up being enjoyable due to whatever kind of nonsense Watsy puts us through. So anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I'll see you all next time.